They call it the Acer Swift 3, and in this video, let's unbox it. Now this is the 2022 model with an OLED display that is 14 inches. It comes with the i7-12700H. So I think this could be very advantageous for graphic designers, digital artists, and photographers because of the OLED display and its color accuracy, as well as music production with the i7-12700H being a very high frequency processor, having multiple cores, and without the dedicated GPU, this could be advantageous because of possibly less noise while doing live music production. So I'm really interested in this model for a number of different use cases, as I've already stated. I want to thank Best Buy for sponsoring this video and making it possible for me to create in-depth laptop reviews for creators. Best Buy is constantly providing some of the best deals you can find anywhere online. And right now, they're running their top deals campaign where you can find anything from thin and light laptops all the way up to gaming laptops. Not only do they have the best deals online, but I found that they get laptops sooner and keep their stock longer than any other retailer. So you can always find what you need at the best prices. Best Buy not only offers convenient curbside pickup, but also super fast delivery on thousands of items so you can get to your creative work faster. Click the link in the description below to check out the Acer Swift 3 and other creator focused laptops on sale right now at bestbuy.com. Now let's go ahead and get it out of the box and see what we've got this year. Year as far as build quality and usability is concerned, I'm really excited to look at this model. Now coming with this model, we're going to have a 65 watt hour charger block. So nice and compact. And let's see, I think that's all we have in the box besides the laptop. So let's go ahead, get this thing out and take a look, see what we have going on here. Okay. A nice light chassis. Let's go ahead and get it pulled out of the sleeve. Very similar to the Acer Swift X. It looks a little bit thinner than the Swift X. Remember that the Swift X comes with the i7-1260P and an RTX 3050 Ti, where this simply comes with the i7-12700H, no dedicated GPU. And like I said, that can be advantageous for artists, designers, and photographers, as well as music production, people who aren't really needing that dedicated GPU, but still want great single core and multi-core performance out of their CPU. Now this does come with the Intel Evo platform badge. Let me show you that real quick, which means this laptop has been rated for about nine hours of battery life. Now, during my full review, I am going to test that battery life result and see how we do on all my different battery life tests. So make sure you subscribe and ring the bell. And also, if you wanna help out this channel, help us reach 100,000 subscribers by Christmas. So go ahead, take a second, subscribe, and help us reach that goal. It would be amazing. We would be so grateful here on the channel if we could reach 100,000 by Christmas. All right, let's keep moving forward. The next thing I'm gonna take a look at is the build quality and assembly. So go ahead and flip the laptop over and I'm gonna check out how the bottom cover is fit into the side panel. So as you can see here, there's a little bit of a catchy edge. The bottom cover fits into the side panel a little deeper uh, than would meet flush. So just keep that in mind. It still has great build quality. It's still assembled very nicely. You just have that bit of an edge there. Now let's do the classic Benji tap test. Sounds very good, very rigid, well assembled. Flip it over for the top cover. No rattly sounds, nothing hollow or loose. Seems like it's assembled very well and good build materials have been used. This is an all aluminum chassis outside of the bezels around the screen. So just keep that in mind. Now looking at the ports, you can see on the left side, we have two USB type C's, an HDMI and a USB type A on the left side. And on the right side, we have a Kensington lock, USB type A, and your headphone jack. Now keep in mind, as far as the 65 watt hour charger block is concerned, you'll be using USB type C. So you will be occupying one of your USB C slots. So if that is something that you wanna keep open, then make sure you pick up a dongle to add more connectivity to your laptop. Now let's go ahead and open and close the lid, see how that does, see if we can do it with one hand. Mm, seems pretty sticky. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a two handed open and close. Uh, but one of the benefits of it is when you go ahead and you open your laptop, it doesn't shake. So you can go ahead and set your right where you want it and it, it just immediately sets itself into place. So if you're typing, you're not gonna run into any shaky screen because it's a nice sturdy firm hinge. Now let's go ahead and do a quick screen flex test. Very minimal screen flex on the top 
and on the bottom. So that looks really good. You can see we have a vent here right along the screen. I tested the Acer Swift X with this similar vent, and this was not a concern in regards to blowing air onto the screen. So just keep that in mind. I know a lot of people usually have questions about that, but that was not a problem with the Swift X, and I anticipate it won't be a problem with this model either. We have a fingerprint reader right here on the power button, so quick access to open up your computer without any lag. You have a full-size keyboard without a numpad. Personally, I appreciate that. I like the simplicity of the keyboard. And you have about a medium to short key press here. Slightly smaller keys than maybe your you know average gaming laptop, so that might maybe take some getting used to for you if you you know normally been on a gaming laptop. Um, but overall, it's very comfortable. We have our full size shift key on the right side. I'm excited about that because a lot of times Acer actually does three fourths or two thirds shift keys. And so that we have a full size shift key makes me happy because I'm fine with the smaller arrow keys. The Swift 3 comes with this trackpad that just is a little smaller than I would prefer as a creator using and reviewing this laptop. Overall, this would be a very usable trackpad, but I just wish it was a little bit larger. We do have some more room if they would push the keyboard up and just maximize their space here for the trackpad. Checking out the trackpad, it has a little bit of a rattle when I'm tapping it, but when you click, it has no issues catching your click, and so it will not mess with the functionality, but do note there's a little bit of rattle on the model that I am reviewing. Now this is a 2.5K 14 inch 16 by 10 aspect ratio OLED display. It is bright, it has very vibrant colors, it has very dark darks, light lights. It would make a fantastic display for graphic designers, photographers, and digital artists. Now, I think this laptop would also be capable for video editing, but during my full review, we will run some video editing tests to see how well it stands up against my normal benchmarks. But with the i7-12700H, digital artists, graphic designers, music production, and photographers will have no issues with this laptop. It'll perform very well. This laptop does come with a webcam, and here's a quick sample so you can see what that looks and sounds like. This is the webcam on the Acer Swift 3 and a little sample of the audio for you as well. Probably one of the best webcams I have reviewed in the past few months. This looks great. Now, if you're curious about the exact pricing and availability of this model, you can head down in the description below and click one of those links. If you do make a purchase, I will get a small commission, but at no extra cost to you. While you're here, if you've yet to subscribe to the channel, please do. We're trying to make 100,000 subscribers by Christmas, and you can make that happen. So just take the one second, tap that subscribe button. It would mean the world to me and everybody else involved with this channel. Thank you so much. Now, without further ado, let's go ahead, flip the laptop over, get the bottom cover taken off, and check out the upgrade path on on the Acer Swift 3. Pulling off the bottom cover of the laptop, you can see that we have access to an occupied M.2 as well as an unoccupied M.2. So you have the ability to put two M.2 drives in this laptop. That's fantastic for your upgrade path. It means you can have a lot of storage for either, like I said, music production, digital art, photography, or graphic design. And you do have access to your Wi-Fi card as well. However, one thing you will not have access to, which is pretty common as far as laptops are concerned, recently with thin and light laptops is your RAM. So whatever you purchase this laptop with is the RAM that you will need to keep. So just keep that in mind. This thing comes with 16 gigs of RAM. I don't know if there will be a 32 gig alternative, but remember that you will be stuck at the purchase point. Now this is a 57.28 watt hour battery. I'm excited to see what kind of battery life we can get out of this laptop. Now, punch for punch, I think this is a fantastic laptop for the different professions that I have mentioned over and over in this video. It's got a powerful CPU. It's gonna have a color accurate display and a large 16 by 10 aspect display. So I think this has a lot going for it as well as being a thin and light on the go friendly laptop. Now, fingers crossed for that battery life. Make sure you subscribe and ring the bell to help us hit 100,000 subscribers. And so you don't miss out on the full review coming soon. Once again, I wanna thank Best Buy for sponsoring this video. Make sure you head on over there to find some of the best laptop deals you can find online any time of the year, but especially right now. I'll see y'all here in the next video.